Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to Catholic Morning Prayer for August 19th, 2020. It is the memorial, <clears throat> excuse me, of St. John Eudes. The breviary this morning is morning prayer for Wednesday of week four, the common of pastors, morning prayer, and the proper of St. John Eudes for the, for the closing prayer. The pages for this morning are as follows. If you have a single volume breviary, the psalmody is on page 958. The Common of Pastors is on page 1426, and the Proper of St. John Eudes for the Closing Prayer is on page 1232. And if you have the four volumes set, Psalmody is on 1191, Common of Pastors on 1156, and the Proper of St. John Eudes is on page 1332, located in volume 4. <clears throat> Excuse me, once again, single volume breviary, 958 Psalmody, 1426 Common. 1232 proper. Four volume set, volume four, common 1191, I'm sorry, Psalmody 1191, common 1156, and proper on page 1332. As always, we begin the divine office with the Angelus for our blessed Mother Mary. So with all that being said, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blesses the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and his cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And we begin morning prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Forty years I endured that generation, I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the Flock. 
You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. <clears throat> My heart is ready, O God. I will sing, sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends, help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place God has made this promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I will take for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use as my washbowl. And Edom I will plant, on, on Edom I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Edom? Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, in my God is the joy of my soul, for he hath clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants, and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not be silent, for Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet, until her vindication shines forth like the dawn, and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication, and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall men call you forsaken, or your land desolate. But you shall be called my delight, and your land espoused, for the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries his virgin, <clears throat> your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. God's word is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. My soul gives praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all of my days, make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who was helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free, the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the path of the wicked. 
The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God's word is alive, it strikes to the heart, it pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. <clears throat> A reading from the Epistle to the Hebrews. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A few moments with these words to the Hebrews. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Day or night they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. I have set my watchmen to guard you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. To his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Christ is the good shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Through your vicars, you continued to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits, continue to fulfill our ministry of life and holiness in us. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. And taught by our Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, You chose the priest John Eudas to preach the infinite riches of Christ. By his teaching and example, help us to know you better 
and live faithfully in the light of the gospel. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout this world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat> well, thank you all for being here this morning, so bright and early. Please remember to pray for our Chinese brothers and sisters who for so long have suffered at the hands of their communist oppressors. This evening at 6 p.m. we will have Vespers, and I hope to see you all there. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Pedro. Good to see you. Good morning, Brigida. Lillian, it's good to see you. Karen and Katie, it's good to see you as well. God bless each and every one of you. Have a good day, and uh, God willing, I will see you this evening for, law, uh, for Vespers. Take care now.